Welcome to day two. Here I am. Here I am opening the uh, decaf coffee for the first time. Yes, I bought this decaf coffee just for this experience. Uh, this was actually recorded uh, the night before. I tend to set up my coffee the night before. And there's the one spoonful of decaf coffee. Heaping spoonful. And there's the heaping spoonful of regular coffee. Just like it says, it's about even. I'm not doing exact measurements here, but I never really exactly measure my coffee anyway. And there's the cup of water. Try to get it about halfway up to the number two there. I've done this so much, it's pretty much a routine at this point. And then I just sort of leave it for the next morning. And then the next morning I turn it on and I let it brew while I go and take a shower. Good morning, Teeny Tara. You're gonna be my little mini Basil today. Oh, I love you too. She's not as snarky as Basil. Okay, at this point I'm out of the shower and it's time to make breakfast, so while the pan's heating up, I'm getting my coffee ready. There's my uh, scant spoonful of Truvia. It's really hard to film one-handed. It's actually Stevia. Truvia is just the brand name. I've just sort of gotten used to calling it that. And there's my heaping spoonful of sugar with another half spoonful. And the coffee. And again, it's just the perfect amount. Like I said, I've, I've done this a lot. I'm an expert on making coffee. Well, making it to my own. To my own preferences, at least. And here comes the milk. I don't really, I obviously don't measure it. I just kind of get it up to the line there, more or less. And now I'm putting it in the microwave for 15 seconds. This is my ritual every single morning. Got your little teeny foot. I got your little teeny foot. Boop. Good morning. Uh, I realized that, um, Maybe the level of how tired I am is maybe not the best gauge here because I never know how well or how poorly I'm going to sleep. Uh, so like this morning I got woken up at 4.30 a.m. and I stayed awake for at least an hour but then I slept until like 8.30 so I don't know maybe I got a normal amount of sleep but I feel a little bit tired but uh, no, no, no more than usual after a night of crappy sleep so... Um, I am drinking my uh, half decaf coffee. Uh, it doesn't taste any different as far as I can tell. Um, well, I'm tempted to think it maybe tastes a little tiny bit different, but as much as I try to get the same amount of sweetener every time, sometimes I get a little bit more or a little bit less, so. Uh, it is pretty good, actually. I guess I am sort of enjoying the coffee this morning, but yeah, I'm gonna stick to this. <laughs> So, um, I guess that's about all I have to say. I, I can't, I mean, I, I feel about normal, I guess. Um, I haven't quite finished this cup yet, and I haven't, you know, had time for it to really sit in my system for a while. But at least for now, I feel about, about the same, all things considered. And, um, yeah, if I, I guess what I should be looking out for is, like, headaches or jitters or any of that other stuff that... People always say that uh, caffeine withdrawal causes. So I'll keep an eye out for stuff like that. If I feel any of that later, I'll um, I'll record a little more and mention it. But I think this is probably it for day two. Um, I've only rec been recording for about two and two and a half minutes, and that's going to be edited way down. So uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll probably uh, put multiple days into this video. So yeah, um, see you tomorrow. <laughs>
Well, now she is acting like Basil because she was meowing right up until I started recording her. Little butt. Good morning. Um, nothing new to report. Same shit as yesterday. I'm still half calf and half decaf. Um. Sorry if I look like shit today. I didn't want to put on makeup or anything just for this video that's only going to be like a few minutes long. Like I said before, same thing as yesterday. I um, I woke up last night. I woke up in the middle of the night and it took me a little while to get back to sleep, but it wasn't as bad as the other night. Um, but yeah, like no headaches, no jitters, none of that stuff. Really, Tara? God, you're such a butt. Now she makes noise. I'm not pointing the camera at her. I mean, yeah, I think that's all I have to say if something changes or whatever, or there's any sort of new development, I guess I'll record some more, but... I, I, yeah, I think that's it for today. Tara's about to get in my way here, so... Um... God forbid I film anything without my cat getting in the way. Um... I was about to wrap up anyway, so yeah, uh, this is it for today, so, uh... God, you're such a butt. So yeah, see you tomorrow, which I'm pretty sure I'm doing the same thing again tomorrow. Yeah, I think it's four days in a row that I do the half coffee and half decaf, so yeah, see you tomorrow. Good morning. Welcome to day four. Um, I hate, I'm starting to sound like a broken record. Nothing's changed. Um, I still feel basically okay, except once again, I woke up in the middle of the night and couldn't get back to sleep for a while. That's just that's just a thing that happens with me sometimes, and I'm, I'm <laughs> three days in a row though makes me wonder if maybe I should start blaming the lack of caffeine. Maybe I'll, I'll look up. I'll, I should probably look that up to see if uh, that's a possible um, side effect of cutting down on caffeine. That I wouldn't think that less caffeine would affect your sleep, but I don't know. Bodies are weird. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately I don't have Tara in here uh, being goofy. So that's really it for today and uh, that's going to end this particular video. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.